Imagine climbing a flight of steps with one leg. Imagine pedaling a bicycle with one leg. Imagine living the rest of your life without a limb. Just imagine. Isn't it painful just to imagine? Now, imagine the pain of people suffering from the dreaded disease of bone cancer, knowing that they may have to amputate or spend a fortune saving their affected limbs. How excruciating it would be for these people, anticipating a lifetime of disability. Imagine, not anymore. Now, imagine their pain being replaced by smiles, their limbs saved, their hopes restored and lives back on track. Imagine the gratitude of more than 1,850 people, thankful for the work of one person in transforming their lives. Here is a biography of this one person, who has devoted his entire life to making a real difference in the lives of others. This is a man who, for the greater welfare of many, gave up lucrative career opportunities. He has remained committed and passionate in making the latest ultra-modern facilities available at affordable costs to all patients ailing from bone cancer through his groundbreaking innovation, Custom Mega Prosthesis. Not only has he brought about a revolution in limb-saving technology, but he has also been instrumental in making orthopedic oncology a subspecialty in India. There is little wonder that his invaluable contributions have fetched him many laurels from far and wide. Unceasing in his striving for the betterment of others' lives, he has promised that there will not be any need for amputation of limbs for bone cancer patients in India within the next 10 years. Such is his commitment and his passion for his fellow human being. Let's go through the life story of this living legend, Professor Mail Vahanan Natarajan. Professor Mayal Vahanan, a brilliant academician, prolific speaker and empathetic surgeon, was appointed Vice-Chancellor of Dr. MGR Medical University in December 2009. Ever since he took up this eminent yet challenging assignment, Professor Mayal Vahanan has carried out his responsibilities with tremendous enthusiasm and zeal. His humane approach and benevolent attitude to all requiring his attention has been the hallmark of his tenure at the university. <music> Professor Mail Vahanan is always concerned about the welfare of his students. As a Vice-Chancellor of Dr. MGR Medical University, the Professor has brought about many changes for their betterment, which has helped to forge stronger bonds and build better relationships in the institution. He was instrumental in having air conditioning installed in the reading hall so that students could study undisturbed and in comfort. <music> Professor Mayal Vahanan has championed and implemented numerous advancements in the academic sphere of the university, some of the more notable examples of which are Grouping all courses under four major heads – Medical, Dental, Indian Medicine and Allied Health Sciences. Raising standards of education by adopting a competency-based curriculum to replace an outdated knowledge-based system. Introducing the e-journal MedEdge for postgraduate students to publish scientific articles. Implementing novel changes such as bringing OSCE, OSPE DOPS and ward rounds to the evaluation methodology. Launching a new distance course, this being Master of Family Medicine. Inaugurating postdoctoral fellowship and new allied health science courses with the express purpose of making hospitals temples of learning and conducting two convocations each year for the efficient and timely awarding of degrees and university medals for all courses. In the administrative and organisational domain of the university, the professor has promoted beneficial change, which has seen workstations, computers and internet connectivity provided to all university staff, 
the International Organization for Standardization conferring ISO 9001 to 2008 certification on the University for the Quality Management System, the construction of the Silver Jubilee Year Guest House and Auditorium, which is near completion, the building of a fourth and fifth floor on the administrative block and the celebration of relevant days within the institution including Doctor's Day, Dentist's Day, Ayush Day, Nurse's Day and Physiotherapist's Day. On these days, eminent persons in their respective fields are honoured with various prestigious awards. His uplifting speeches and motivational style have inspired many a student passing out through the portals of his alma mater. Preserving the quality of life and maintaining the dignity of death are values which have to be imbibed by the medical graduates, realising the role of the medical professionals is to cure sometimes, relieve often, but comfort always. Thus, we offer nothing but blood, sweat and tears to our students. A brief journey through the life of Professor Maya Vahanan is presented here with the intention of motivating and inspiring millions of students who wish to achieve glory in their chosen fields. Until the year 1988, it was unimaginable and unaffordable for patients suffering from bone cancer to get an endoprosthesis. This was only available abroad at an exorbitant cost of about 10,000 US dollars. Left with no choice, these patients had to undergo the pangs of losing their limbs and leading a life of disability. This was only until the year 1988, a year which would transform many lives across the world. This year saw Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan introduce his revolutionary, indigenously developed methods of cure. He gave hope to many by making the prosthesis easily accessible and affordable. The cost of prosthesis could be as modest as 1,000 US dollars, just a fraction of the prevailing cost in the Western world. The medical fraternity stood awestruck by this brilliant indigenous invention, giving hope and restoring the limb support for 1,850 patients was not just a laudable effort, but a masterstroke of genius. A genius with an absolute resolve in a constant quest to find means and ways to change the lives of people affected by bone cancer. When uh, they asked Gandhiji before the making of the constitution whether he had any advice to give or get off the constitution, it seems he said, think what would be the effect of your constitution on the poorest man in the country then you would have made a good constitution. So likewise, what would have cost $8,000 has now been brought down to 800. With this kind of drop in prices, you have taken medicine to where it should actually go. Ever in the pursuit of finding viable and affordable solutions, Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan channeled all his energy, experience, and expertise into the custom mega prosthesis project. His efforts paid off and the lives of many have been changed for the better thanks to the professor's custom mega prosthesis. But then how was this made possible? What was his drive? What propelled this master surgeon into the field of orthopedic oncology? Let's turn back a few pages in the annals of his life. On Christmas Eve of the year 1954, Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan was born, the third child to an industrious and intelligent couple, Dr. Natarajan and Janaki. Brought up in a nurturing and peaceful family that instilled confidence and discipline, Mayal Vahanan grew into a level-headed and a quick-witted boy, enjoying the company of his affectionate brother and three doting sisters. The discipline ingrained throughout these early years has stayed with him, he still follows the same strict regimen of his childhood, rising at 4am sharp, 
irrespective of late hours of sleep. Such is the power and influence of his parents. Since my parents belong to the 20th century, they were blessed with five children, like five diamonds. And one happened to be the Kohinoor diamond, named Mail Vahanan Natarajan. Mail is so disciplined with his work ethics, compassionate, loving, and of course, sum it all up, he is brilliant. I would say I'm lucky and blessed to be his sister. Mail has achieved great heights at a very young age. After my father is not there, he has taken up the role of the father towards all of us. So we feel so comfortable with him in all these items. He has always considered me as a friend. One of the biggest uh, bonding effect that we all of us had between each other was the six o'clock meet in daddy's room. That one hour from six to seven used to be the best part of our uh, lives. Even thinking back, even now I sometimes miss that uh, events that took place during those discussions, the fights, the quarrels and laughters and things like that that were going on. Tandai Maghanukkatru Mudavi Avayattu Mundri Irukka Sayal Yes, I think my parents have done a wonderful job in educating us and bringing us to the forward. And Mail has even got a note that is written by my mother. Even now he has laminated it and kept it in his operation theatre. Mahan Tandai Kaatrum Nandri I will tell you, my mother has just stopped and put it as dot dot dot. And uh, you all know the finishing of the proverb. Avayattu Mundir Kachail is what the father has done. Even Tandai Ennotran Kul and Chul, I will tell you, what is the son does for his father is what Mail I'm sure is doing his uh, job very very well for his father. I'm sure our parents are very very happy in the heavens abroad. He is a very religious person also. He respects his elders. It's another very nice quality in him. He keeps gifting things to everybody and he says everybody should be happy. When we were very young, my dad used to come and wake us up at 4 o'clock. But only my brother Mail and then used to be already awake and studying from the bottom of my heart, I can tell you, he's like a second father to me. Good schooling also played a very important role in moulding Professor Maya Vahanan Natarajan. He got his elementary school education from the Good Shepherd Convent. His childhood friends remember him as a generous and kind-hearted boy who was always at the top of his class. He went to MCC school for his high school education. Besides excelling academically, he enjoyed serving as a cadet in the air wing of the NCC National Cadet Corps. He pursued his PUC from Loyola College, Chennai. During his school holidays, Professor Mayal Vahanan always made it a point to visit Kamudi, his father Natarajan's birthplace. <laughs> Professor Mayal Vahanan has fond memories of these times, of connecting with the land of his forefathers and enjoying light-hearted fun and games with his childhood friends. Not only was the young Mayal Vahanan studious, he was also devout and deeply spiritual. He still regularly visits his ancestral temple for important religious festivals and rituals and always seeks divine blessings before making significant decisions. His grandfather, Mahalinga Muruti, had constructed a school there for the welfare of the community. With a family tradition of social conscience and devotion to community welfare, it is hardly surprising that Professor Mailvahanan has undertaken many philanthropic activities for the benefit of the needy in society. After the completion of his pre-university certificate, he stepped into Madras Medical College for his MBBS course in 1971. No one could have imagined that his destiny was intertwined with that of MMC. 
that he would come back one day with revolutionary ideas and inventions to become the father of orthopedic oncology at his beloved alma mater. Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan graduated from bachelorhood to the happy life of matrimony with a very special and sweet person aptly named Ten Muli, who hailed from Udamalapet. True to her name, not only is she sweet in her words and actions, but she has been a source of strength and a pillar of support to the professor throughout their lives together. எங்களுக்கு கல்யாணம் ஆகி முப்பத்தி நாலு வருஷம் ஆகுது கல்யாணம் இருக்கும்போது அவர் எம்பிபிஎஸ் முடிச்சிருந்தார் அதுக்கப்புறம் அவர் ஹையர் ஸ்டடீஸ்க்கு எம்சிஹெச் படிக்கிறதுக்காக லிவர்பூல் போகிறதுக்கு ஆசைப்பட்டார் எம்எஸ்ஆர்த்தை படிக்கணுன்னு ரொம்ப ஆசை ஸோ அதனால் இப்போ குழந்த இருந்துன்னா அப்புறம் நமக்கு வந்து படிக்கிறது இதாகும் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஃபுல்லாக படிக்கணுன்ட்டு ஒரு ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் பேபி வேண்டாம் அப்படின்னு சொல்லியிருந்தார் அவர் என்ன சொன்னாலும் நான் சரின்னு கேட்பேன் நான் நான் வந்து சின்ன ஊர்லேருந்து வந்து இந்த வீட்டுக்கு நான் ஃபஸ்ட்டு வந்த டேலேருந்து இன்றைக்கு வரைக்கும் சாதாரணமாக வந்து இன்றைக்கி நீ ஒரு மகாராணி மாதிரி வச்சுருக்கிறாரு After the completion of his MBBS, Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan went on to specialize in D-Ortho from Madras University in 1980 and completed his MS Ortho in the year 1981. Nine years into their marriage, in the year 1987, they were blessed with a lovely girl child. A little challenged, but a lot loved. This is my first daughter, uh, Devi. who was born 10 uh, years after our married life she is a special child and attends the special school for spastic children mitra in ananagar <laughs> being devout as they are both the doting parents consider their special child as a blessing from god himself their second daughter sweta is following her father's footsteps and is a medical student at sri ramachandra medical college My daddy is my biggest role model. Uh, like I really want to be like him. All the qualities I really like from my father are like he's very humble. Daddy, uh, thank you so much for being my inspiration, my guide, everything. Like I've learned a lot from you. I may not be very expressive and I may not tell this to you too many times, but I really love you, daddy. Professor Mayal Vahanan was very fond of his mother. Whenever he undertook any project, he sought her blessing. Prior to his departure to the United Kingdom for higher studies, his mother recited some famous Tirukkural Tamil couplets to inspire him and to provide a source of motivation. She wrote them on a piece of paper and gave it to him. Here are the famous Tamil couplets. The first one is Thandai magarukku aatru pudavi avayathu mundiru pachayal This couplet emphasizes the important role of a father in molding his son. A father's prime responsibility to society is to educate and nurture his son so he becomes a success in life. Magan thandai ku aatrum mudavi ivan thandai enno trankul enum sol. This couplet underscores the importance of a son's duty and gratitude to his father for his upbringing. A son's duty to the father is to behave in a manner that people who look upon his exploits will praise the father for bringing up such a son. In fact, Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan's mother gave him the second couplet incomplete, quite intentionally. She suggested to him that he could complete the verse whenever he feels that he has achieved what he has set out for. This challenge created an enormous impact on the young man. and set his mind racing he decided to ardently pursue his goals setting his sights on higher studies he flew to the united kingdom to complete his mch trauma from the liverpool university in the year 1985 on his return home he was devastated to find his mother seriously ill he was deeply traumatized by his mother's passing the incomplete couplet that his mother gave him began to haunt him Not knowing what he needed to do or how he would be worthy to complete the verse began to play incessantly on his mind to remind him of his goals in life Professor Mayal Vahanan framed and mounted the incomplete verse on a wall of his room a budding doctor that he was Professor Mayal Vahanan reached out to his father 
and expressed his desire to practice as a consultant in the United Kingdom. Being an expert in orthopaedics, Dr. Natarajan advised his son to practice in Chennai Government Hospital, MMC, so that he would gain valuable experience and expertise with a diverse array of patients. He is a, a multifaceted person. As an orthopedic surgeon, he has taken up a new field of custom mega processes for bone tumors. What many people may not know about uh, Dr. Mailwagnan as a student, he was a, a wonderful person who had this unique habit of learning the fundamentals very, very clearly. He used to write notebooks of notes and he used to be very thorough in his subject. His notes, I'm sure, are still passed on from uh, generation to generation where uh, students uh, take notes from his original notes. I have seen him as a wholesome person. It is very difficult to find a person like him. Not that he's my friend. And he's good in all respects. As a professor, as a surgeon, as a director, as vice chancellor, as a person. He moves with everyone equally. I remember one incident in his life, the day his father passed away. He is supposed to meet the then president, Sri Abdul Kalam. They were all in doubt whether Mailana will go or not. Your friends, you know. While well, his relatives were waiting in the house, he dashed to Delhi, met the president, did the work, then came back and took part in the family functions. Heeding his father's suggestion, Professor Mayal Vahanan started teaching at MMC. He slowly built up a reputation as a world-class professor of orthopaedics. He became the head of the orthopaedics department, where he created an illustrious record of service and goodwill, which is fondly remembered at the institution. Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan strove to attain the standards set by his father through commitment, undying passion and hard work. During his period as the head of the department of orthopaedics, the professor initiated various reforms and implemented innovative ideas to transform the entire orthopedic section into a world-class department. It's very rare that the second generation continues in the same profession as the parent. Even if they do, it's very rare that they succeed like the parent and even go further. Even if he promises you that he is going to give you a safety pin, on 24th of December 2012, at 8 o'clock, he will come and give it to you. You would have forgotten, you know. Such a committed person and very people only knows that he is such a committed person. And I would come to his work on, monumental work on tumours and treatment of uh, cancerous uh, tumours in the bone. And uh, uh, for his uh, position at that time, the son of a great legendary orthopedic surgeon, you would have taken anything. You would have taken orthoplasty, you would have taken trauma, and you would have taken spine, and you would have minted money on his thing. But he wanted to take something like tumor work, which actually, you know, it was uh, many people who were poor and downtrodden were suffering um, because of those cancers. So he involved himself in, in giving them a life, uh, you know, that uh, the work on his custom mega processes is something monumental. He has been instrumental in helping many orthopedic surgeons to pursue their training in the United Kingdom. I am one of those fortunate ones. In spite of him inspiring and teaching many students and people in all walks of life, I would say he is still a learner. His mind and heart is open to new ideas and concepts all the time. To quote from Shiv Kera, winners don't do different things, they do things differently. Sir, you are a true winner. excellent decision maker Though reaching the higher echelons of the institution and occupying his father's previous position, Professor Mayal Bahanan still felt a void inside himself. He felt that he could not complete the verse given by his mother tried to find an answer to a disquieting and nagging inner voice.
At this time, he experienced an epiphany. After deeply contemplating his life, it suddenly occurred to him that his future lay in serving society and those who were affected by bone cancer. His purpose became immediately clear. He decided to save the limbs of those affected with the disease of bone cancer and alter their lives. This was the defining moment of his career and perhaps his life. Dr. Mailwagan and Nadrajan, on the Halatele Mudani Kielil Persiti Patre, Dr. Nadrajan Avarude, Mahan in Badukuri Pataka, our Yanaki philosopher, friend, guide, brother, Yepadi Vandamana Avare, Vait to Kulala, Yengal Kudumbatoda, Neringi, Todarbu, whatever, Yurode, a Marathu, a Seve Kande, Nan Vienda Kren, Ayaradi, Urekin River, Adakam Ullaver, Purumi Ullaver. Other Kumela Mani than I am cover. I had known him since he was 12 years old. I was his father's most favorite assistant. It is not surprising that such a young man, brilliant young man, would turn out to be one of the best doctors in the world. Lives of great men all remind us that we can make our life sublime and in doing so, leave footprints in the sands of time. We knew Dr. Mahil Bahanan as a young orthopedic surgeon returning to India in 1980 after training in the United Kingdom. He was responsible, along with the team at the Cancer Institute, to pioneer one of the greatest advances in orthopedic oncology, which is organ conservation. Whenever a patient needs to have an amputation, that was not done. Instead, we were able to save the limb. That was the greatest achievement and made a lot of difference in quality of life to the young people who suffered from what is called osteosarcomas. As the idea took form and shape, Professor Mayal Vahanan felt a need for an efficient team to handle the project and take it to its full potential. Thus, a brilliant team was formed. The initial breakthrough came in the form of Mrs. Latta from Arani. She was supported with an indigenous prosthesis brought from Shishwood Surgical, Mumbai. The operation was a major success and her limb was saved through the brilliance of Professor Mayal Vahanan. Her success story stands as testimony to the ingenuity of the professor. You see the case of giant cell tumor, distal femur on the left side. It was a massive tumor involving both the condyles and so the condyles were resected and uh, we put in a metal uh, distal femoral custom mega processes. And this process was made indigenously in India. And uh, the cost wise, uh, the processes was only about uh, 40,000 rupees, which is 10% the cost of the imported processes. So we did this operation about uh, 24 years ago, and she's been going on well with this processes. You know, what I liked um, most about Dr. Mail is his perseverance. You know, he never takes a no for an answer. I helped Dr. Mail do the first limb conservative surgery. Most difficult part is separating the blood vessel from the tumor and the, without the blood vessel, the limb will not survive. So we were able to do, uh, separate the blood vessel and bone tumor, resect the tumor along with that bone and replace it with the processes. He went and met the president, Sri Abdul Kalam, and managed to get governmental permission to get that particular metal for creating a very lightweight and very tough processes that was being done in the West and that was not being reproduced in Indian processes. When he started his work in custom mega processes in the Cancer Institute of Dadayar, I was fortunate to be his associate. Whenever he presented the paper about his custom mega processes, he was frank enough to show his failures. Along with his medical brain, he had also an excellent engineering brain. Mail always used to give his own suggestions and solutions for modifying his processes, and the engineering associates used to give the final shape to it. 
In his own hospital, I know on several occasions, whenever some patient finds it difficult to meet the cost, Mile used to totally waive his fees. The, such an amount of uh, help he has been doing to the people who have been suffering from this cruel illness of cancer. Many children and young adults in India who had bone tumor are at present walking around on their own legs with this mode of treatment. Professor Mailwanan Natarajan has made sure that this type of treatment would be cost effective for people in India and hence it would be available to the common man. On the education front, he is a teacher par excellence. He not only taught on how to make a clinical decision and solve the problem of the patient, he would give you a chance and go through the entire surgical procedure along with you, beside you. He would be strict at work but kind at heart with the junior doctors always lending a helping hand whenever needed. As far as uh, Mailwan and uh, Nadarajan is concerned, he is my very close friend, philosopher and guy. Great said, Thiruvallur has told, Thondrin Pogadu Thondruga Agdila Thondril Thondramai Nandru. He is a very example for that. Professor uh, Mailwan has done a tremendous amount of work in orthopedic oncology, which was evident when he started presenting his work in Tamil Nadu Orthopedic Association in 1989. Uh, that was the first era in which uh, people were not doing the reconstructive surgery for the tumor. Most of the time it was the amputation and uh, he was the first person who removed the tumor in toto and started implanting his custom mega processes. By providence, Mr. J. Singh from Arc Biomechanical Engineers came from Mumbai with his daughter who was affected by bone cancer, to the professor's clinic. She had been treated with a prosthesis, but the prosthesis had broken. This turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Mr. J. Singh offered to develop the professor's new prosthesis through his own organization. Professor Mayal Vahanan immediately took upon the task of educating Mr. J. Singh in the details of the custom mega prosthesis. The successful result of his efforts was the deal Mr. J. Singh struck with Professor Mayal Vahanan to custom produce the prosthesis at an affordable cost to the ordinary people affected by bone cancer. In the second doctor, Maria Selvin, was 18 years old. He went to the evening in typewriting class. Madnan Kalela, a doctor on the doctor Nasrajan, Mailwan and Tay, and the Pekamcha. Upon the tumor spread, I am a serious condition, Yella, Payas, Yella tested the day, and a children's scenario. Adaka Prong is on the bone replacement panda, abdominal implant, local available or implant on the surgery penis. And the implant on the six months later, what a this proved to be a master stroke of Professor Mayal Vahanan. Many have since benefited from this revolutionary idea and innumerable plaudits and awards have come his way. Fittingly, Professor Mayal Vahanan was conferred with the doctorate DSC in the year 2004 for his path-breaking initiatives. Here are some of the accolades that have been bestowed on him. The pick of the international honours are he was the first Indian to be elected as Millennium President 2000-2002 to the world-renowned Asia-Pacific Musculoskeletal Tumor Society. He received the British Orthopedic Association Wishbone Trust Award for excellence in limb salvage surgery. The Royal College of Surgeons of England, FRCS, conferred the fellowship ad eoindum 2009. Not to be left out, our nation was proud to honor this wonderful son of the soil with a multitude of awards. The noteworthy among these was the prestigious Civilian National Award Padma Shri Award in the year 2007 from the hands of the then President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. 
Besides this prestigious civilian honor, he was honored with the Dr. B.C. Roy National Award by the Medical Council of India, 2004, the National Award for Welfare of the Disabled by the Government of India, 2005, and the latest honor comes in the form of Dynamic Indian of the Decade Award, 2012, yet again from the hands of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Apart from these national and international honors, Professor Mayal Vahana Natarajan has been the most sought after person of eminence to be part of various medical boards and universities. To list a few, Professor Mayal Vahanan was president, Tamil Nadu Orthopaedic Association, TNOA, 1999 to 2000. President, Asia Pacific Musculoskeletal Tumor Society, APMSTS, 2000 to 2002. President, Indian Orthopaedic Association, IOA, 2005 to 2006. Besides the invaluable contribution to the efficiency of the government general hospital, as the distinguished head of department and director, the professor has embarked on the following. Setting up an exclusive bone bank attached to the Department of Orthopaedics, 2005. Submitting a disaster management project to the government. Inaugurating the Ortho Skills Lab. Increasing the bed strength at the government general hospital, Chennai, from 150 to 300. Opening an implant bank and spinal injury unit opening the Institute of Orthopaedics and Traumatology. Unsatisfied with his practical contribution, the professor wanted to share his wealth of knowledge to the entire world. This noble thought prompted him to pen various widely appreciated books and papers, which were to become invaluable reference material for practicing and aspiring medical professionals across the globe. He has so far penned eight books and has edited 11 chapters in various medical textbooks. Professor Mayal Vahanan has also published 23 papers in peer-reviewed international journals and 25 papers in national journals. One must not forget his stirring guest lectures delivered in 185 international, national and state conferences. In recognition of his contributions, he has been conferred with 15 international and national fellowships and 18 orations in various medical conferences. Professor Mayal Vahanan has designed and invented eight types of custom megaprostheses which have been patented and 15 new prosthetic designs registered with the Controller General of Patent. I have been watching him silently, admiring him for all the innovations that he has brought into the university, he completely turned the university on its own head by bringing in numerous courses, opening it out, bringing in postdoctoral fellowship programs, changing the way the university conducts the examinations, making everything objective rather than subjective, raising the standards of the university, introducing e-journals, introducing e-financing, introducing corporate financing, improving the library of the university, extending its new campuses, building guest houses, the list is endless. I don't think any single vice chancellor anywhere in the world, to my knowledge, has done so much for the university as Mail has done. Hats off to you, Mail. Dr. Mail Vahanan, at a very young age, showed all those special qualities which makes him such a special person today. Whenever I think of Mail, I am reminded of one Thirukkural. Vellathanaya malarneetam mandirtham ullathanaya uyarvu. Just as the depth of the lotus root depends on the depth of the pond, so also the height to which a man grows depends on the depth of his heart. And I cannot think of anyone with a deeper heart a broader heart and a larger heart than Dr. Mailwangan and Rajan. As an India Medical University in the whole of the country has occupied a unique place and the Mailwangan and Rajan's contribution to it is a commendable one. I am really fortunate to be a student of Dr. Mailwangan. He always says when you treat the patients, not only use your head, use your heart as well. He was um, very much interested in introducing a uh, 
start of medical education to the international level. When he had an opportunity to become a vice chancellor of Dr. M J Medical University, he accepted and then took the post. And then he has brought in a lot of changes for the next 50 years. He has designed a process which patient cannot uh, suppose if a knee joint has been lost, we need to have a knee joint. At least it will cost 40,000. Suppose even if the patient doesn't uh, afford to you have that uh, processes. Even for 10,000 rupees, he designed a processes with which person cannot have to lose a limb, but still he can have a, a straight leg, which is, which is called intercalar prosthesis, which is um, invented and then also patented, and now which the poor patients are getting benefited with that. Dr. Mailwan Natarajan is an outstanding surgeon. He's been associated with Apollo since inception for over three decades. He has mastered in whatever he does. And he is a splendid surgeon for limb salvage surgery for bone tumors. This has brought him a lot of laurels and more than laurels earning Padma Sri Award and the BC, Sir B.C. Rao Award. He has, he has benefited patients from both within the country and outside the country. We at Apollo believe that he is a very, very important member of Apollo family. I personally admire him and uh, he is a fitting tribute for the illustrious father, Dr. Natarajan, the famous orthopedic surgeon of uh, India. Dr. Mailwan and Natarajan is somebody whom everybody admires, both as a doctor uh, by the patients and as an institution for the great work that he does at Apollo Hospitals. I am sure that there are people who are emotionally charged in gratitude because what he does in the name of um, orthopedic oncology is commendable and life-giving and uh, psychologically uplifting for those who have been through almost fatal and touch death and come back. I salute you, sir, as an Indian, as your ex-patient, hopefully, <laughs> and, uh, and all the others who I'm sure look at look up to you very fondly. Thank you. Namaskar. Many of his friends and family members have tried to persuade him to complete the remainder of the second Tirukural verse bestowed by his mother. Professor Mayal Vahanan in all humility feels that it is for society to decide if he may complete the verse. Not only are we proud that Professor Mayal Vahanan Natarajan has lived and worked amongst us, in our society, in our country and throughout the world, we can confidently say that he has also truly fulfilled the meaning of the couplet 